India versus Pakistan military power compar compar comparison. Comparison. I check this out. Namaste, welcome to my channel, welcome to Thinking Lash, a channel where we talk and react things related to India. So thank you so much. Welcome, you know, mi casa is tu casa and hopefully you're enjoying this channel as much as I do doing these videos for you guys. And I send you all my love from Mexico all the way to India. So thank you so much for passing by one more day. Uh, today we're going to do a video that as well and very interesting. A lot of you guys has been asking me uh, to do as well a comparison with Pakistan uh, uh, military Power. But then I found this video about Indian versus Pakistan. It's not I want to put one against each other, but it's more about informative to see who is like uh, with the comparison just to see how it's working everything and how it's going everything. So let's check this video out and then we talk about it. Hello, everyone. Today in this video, we are going to compare the military and economic aspects of India and Pakistan in detail. Let's get started. First, coming to the number of active military personnel of both the countries. India currently has over 1.4 million personnel, which is ranked second in the world. Pakistan, on the other hand, has 653,000 plus active military personnel and is ranked sixth in the world. Okay. Now, let's compare the GDP. India's GDP nominal at present is 3,000 billion US dollars, whereas Pakistan has 284 billion US dollars. It's a huge difference. Defense budget comparison. India spends around 67 billion US dollars and is the fourth largest in terms of military spending, whereas Pakistan spends about 12 billion US dollars. Huge Nuclear difference. weapon comparison. Both India and Pakistan are among the nine countries that currently possess nuclear weapons. India has an estimated nuclear weapons of around 130 to 140, whereas Pakistan has an estimated nuclear stockpile of Hopefully around 150 to 160. Needs to use them. Never just stay there forever. In the field of technological advancement, India has developed its own missile defense system, possessed anti satellite weapons, and develops its own satellite navigation system called NAVIC. On the other hand, Pakistan doesn't have any such technology at the moment. Land Power Comparisons India currently has 4,800 plus active main battle tanks, which includes Russian May T-72 and T-90, and indigenously built Arjun tank. On the other hand, Pakistan has 2,200 plus tanks, majority of which are Chinese made main battle tanks. In addition to this, India has 2,800 plus armored fighting vehicles, as compared to Pakistan's 3,600 plus armored fighting vehicles. 4,000 plus towed artillery, as compared to Pakistan's 1,200 plus towed artillery. 200 plus self-propelled artillery, as compared to Pakistan's 420 plus self-propelled artillery. And 260 plus multi-launched rocket systems, as compared to Pakistan's 130 plus multi-launched rocket system. In addition to this, India has land-based intercontinental ballistic missile which can reach up to 8,000 kilometers range, whereas Pakistan doesn't have any ICBM at the moment. Air Power Comparisons India currently has about 2,100 plus total aircraft, out of which 570 plus are fighter jets, which includes modern fighters like Su-30 MKI, MiG-29, Hal Tejas, Mirage 2000, and recently introduced in Indian Air Force, Dassault Rafale. Pakistan has around 1,340 plus total aircraft, out of which 390 plus are fighter jets. Currently, F-16 and JF-17 are the main modern fighter jets of Pakistan. Helicopter Strength Comparisons India 700 plus, Pakistan 320 plus. Big difference there too. Naval Power Comparisons Aircraft Carriers India currently has one active aircraft carrier, INS Vikramditya, 
and another one under development, INS Vikrant, which is going to enter sea trials soon. Pakistan one, has no aircraft carrier at the moment. Expensive. Destroyers India currently has 11 destroyer ships. Pakistan doesn't have any destroyers at the moment. Submarine India currently has 20 submarines, whereas Pakistan has active 5 submarines. Frigates India at the moment has 14 frigate ships as compared to Pakistan's 9. Corvettes India currently has 23 corvette ships, whereas Pakistan doesn't have any corvettes at the moment. Thanks for watching. This is a very interesting video just to have like an idea of the power between the two countries, but hopefully this power never has to be proved, never has to be like really, hopefully just to basically kind of protect and say, you know what, I'm strong, don't mess with me. The other one as well, I'm strong, don't mess with me. And everybody is just happy in peace. Like that's, that will be the ideal, especially hopefully that nuclear weapons never had to be used uh, in any situation for any of the sides. Like basically, I guess, and I think so that a war in this moment will be super, super bad for all the world, especially with what is happening right now with the COVID situation. Uh, but the, I think it's always uh, not just like informative, good to know. Even I would like now to, to see a video of comparison just with India and US or Russian army, just, just like a curiosity, just to see how it's really ranked, just to have a better like idea of, how big it is because like i said before i i didn't knew that india has that big army power until now watching all this and making this channel and i think so it's something just interesting to see because at the end like an army is a place uh, is a, a unity that will protect a country from outside uh, in uh, trying to invade a country or something like that i know maybe in these modern times doesn't happen as usual as it happened in the past uh, but I think so it's as well important to have a place where you can uh, army can defend their people that army can defend uh, even other countries like you have been telling me as well that India is a, a country that will defend other smaller countries as well then that as well is kind of a nice uh, from the army but hopefully like the wish will be like everybody in this world live in peace and the army doesn't need to be used and just is like a self-protection situation like you know the walls on the or the doors in a house that basically is just to keep uh, people that shouldn't be in in but as well it's like just privacy take care but everybody's still in peace so let's hope and pray for the situation keep and remain in this way and but it's amazing to see how india is uh, working as well to protect their people so thank you so much for this video, guys. I, it was very, very interesting and very informative as well for me to know how really this work. So thank you so much and hopefully you enjoy it. And if it's like that, put it there in the comments. And if you have more suggestions for me about uh, in and Pakistan or whatever you want to suggest there, I will just put it there in the comments because you know that I love to read all your comments. See you tomorrow. And if you like this video, thumbs up. And you can follow me in my Instagram, thinking.nash, and as well subscribe here. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.